Now we talk about what is GAP. GAP is Goods Agriculture Practices. Goods Agriculture Practices is for growers. That is for not only for crops, it is for animals, livestock, manure, slurry. So it provides rules what to do in that purposes, what to do when crops are grown, what which fertilizers are to be used, which pesticides are to be used. So these are rules are provided by the GAP. So that is basically for safe human consumption. That is, products are provided for safe human consumption. So now we talk about the rules of GAP. So the first rule which of uh, GAP is condition for application of fertilizers near water courses. Meant, uh, this is the water course. Okay, so this is the field. No, now conditions are provided that near the water course does the fertilizers are to be used does the ddt pesticides or this type of fertilizer are to be used near that so these rules these conditions are provided by the gap so what are the conditions now talk about that so the first is when catchment area is less than or equal to 10 km square now we, what is catchment area when we talk about what is catchment area catchment area is the area from which rain flows into a particular river or lake right it is the area from which rain flows into a particular river or lake so when a particular field or agriculture land is over there so what is the condition is that when the catchment area is less than 10 km square width of the protective stream width of the protective stream meant the space the distance between the stream and the field so that is the width that is the width of the protective stream so that is one meter when the catchment area is less than or equal to 10 km square and stream side slope is less than or equal to 5 degree when the stream side slope is less than or equal to 5 degree then the protective stream then the width should be one meter and when the stream side slope is 5 to 10 degree stream side slope meant this is the stream as this is the slope so this is the stream side slope okay so the stream side slope is less than or equal to 5 degree then the then the what uh, catchment area meant the width of the protective stream should be 1 meter width should be 1 meter and when it is 5 to 10 degree between 5 to 10 degree the width of the protective stream should be greater than or equal to 2.5 meter why because the slope increases right the slope increases firstly it is 5 degree and now it is 5 to 10 degree the, the slope increases so the width also increases width is greater than or equal to 2.5 meter and when it is more than 10 degree 10 degree and up to infinity and so on so the width should be greater than 5 meter meant up greater than 10 degree it should be 20 degree it should be 25 degree it should be 30 degree so then the width should be 5 meter greater than 5 meter depending on the stream side slope okay so that is the first rule which is provided by the GAP now the second rule which is provided by the GAP is related to the crop, crop rotation second rule is related to the crop rotation okay what is crop rotation now we talk about what is crop rotation crop rotation meant growing of different crops on a single piece of land different crops are grown on a single piece of land year after year or season after season why to control weeds pests and diseases to avoid exhausting of soil so that is crop rotation okay the, the rules which are provided by the GAP for crop rotation is in farms having more than 15 hectare of agriculture land meant farms having more than 15 hectare of agriculture land one hectare is equal to 10,000 meter square so in 15 hectare meant 150,000 meter square of agriculture land is there more than that then 50 percent area should be covered by winter crops then the 50 percent area meant 7.5 hectare of land should be covered by the winter crops winter crops meant winter crops are also known as rabi crops right rabi crops like a paddy guar cotton groundnut okay so arhar so these are the winter crops which are grown so the 50 percent area should be covered by the winter crops in hilly areas 
when we talk about the hilly areas in hilly areas the slope is like that so the when the slope is 5 when the slope is equal to 5 degree okay so then perennial grass perennial grass should be grown over there and perennial grass should be greater than or equal to 35 to 40 degree of total crop rotation area okay perennial grass meant perennial grass meant the grass which lives for more than 2 years meant the grass is grown and it does not dry for more than 2 years so that is perennial grass and when the slope is 5 to 7 degree when the slope is 5 to 7 degree then 50% meant uh, total area ka meant uh, total area 50% of the total area is covered by the perennial grass and when the slope is 7 to 10 degree 7 to 10 degree so the 65 to 80 percent 65 to 80 percent of the total area is covered by the perennial grass and when it is 10 to 15 degree meant more than 10 degree we can say when it is more than 10 degree 10 to 15 degree perennial grass all the area should be covered by the perennial grass meant no other crops should be grown over there only perennial grass are to be planted over there okay so that is the second rule which is provided by the gap meant good agriculture practices provide the second rule related to the crop rotation and now coming on to the third rule third rule which is related to the animal density okay third rule which is related to the animal density so now talking about the animal density now talking about the animal density what is animal density animal density mean the area a particular area meant uh, one hectare of area is there and a and a few animals are over there so the total number of animals total number of animals upon divided by the total area meant a particular area a single hectare or a single piece of land is covered by how many animals are there so that is the animal density okay so it provided that it should not exceed 1.7 so animal density should not be more than 1.7 it should be 1.7 hectare of agricultural land meant the animal density should be 1.7 it should not be more than 1.7 so this is the rule provided by the gap for animals okay meant you can't make a bulk of animals in a single piece of land so the it is animal density rule which is provided by the gap now fourthly it is capacity and construction of manure storage capacity and construction of manure storage so now talking about the manure storage it related to the construction what construction should be provided what construction should be made related to the manure and what what type of capacity meant which type of manure should be conserved over there so related to the construction manure storage should be constructed in farms keeping more than 10 animal units 10 animal units animal units what do you mean by animal units animal units meant um, like a cow which is having weight uh, 454 kg okay with or without unwean calf is related to one animal unit okay that is related to one animal unit a cow having 454 kg of weight with or without an in uneven calf right so that is uh, animal unit so there are 10 animal units over there okay so the manure storage should be constructed in farms that are having 10 animal units except what is the exception over there exception is that farms keeping animals on deep litter meant the farms which are keeping its animals on basement meant the deep litter meant the basement area meant the underground so that is the meant the storage is provided for animals in the underground so that is the deep litter so animals are kept on where farms having animals on deep litter so manure storage is not constructed over there so that is the exception exceptional case is there and what about the size what about the capacity relating to the size it should contain livestock horse and sheep manure of 6 month but meant it should conserve manure of livestock uh, livestock meant animals that are kept on a farm right 
so horse sheep cow this manure is kept for 6 months the storage is capacity is provided like that and for pig and poultry manure should be kept for 8 months 8 months manure should be kept for pig and poultry so that is the about the capacity the size of the manure storage now nextly which is the rule which is provided by the GAP is related to periods when the application of fertilizers is inappropriate meant when the manure or the slurry should be spread in different areas meant in uh, snow areas in no snow areas in dry areas what is the rule what should you follow so that you can make your food safe make your manure safe so what is that Ki in snow areas manure and slurry spread from 15 march to 1 december in snow areas like in like where the snow is uh, like in himachal or in any other area where are, where snow is there so manure and slurry should be spread from 15 march to 1 december so that is the time period okay in no snow areas where there is no snow like in in south india so there are in south india like a uh, in no snow areas is there so manure is spread in cold season only like in november december so this is the basically the rules or the condition which rule uh, which uh, GAP provides related to farmers so that it should get more knowledge okay now sixthly sixthly is establishment of fertilization plants fertilization plans is what fertilization plans is planning related to the soil it is planning related to the pH of the soil it's related to the quality of the soil nutrient of the soil right what is the what type of soil is that it's black soil red soil loamy soil clay soil right what is the soil condition so that is the fertilization plants so fertilization plants are not for every agricultural land it should be made only for only for what uh, agricultural land which is more than 15 hectare 15 hectare agricultural land and more than that fertilization plant should be made for that only not for one hectare not for two hectare it's for more than 15 hectare of land fertilization plan should be made for that okay so that is the rules and nextly a seventh rule which is provided by the GAP is rate and uniformity of spreading fertilizers and livestock manure meant livestock manure meant the nitrogen or the fertilizer content in that manure should be should not exceed 170 kilogram meant the nitrogen content in the livestock manure should not be more than 170 kilogram of hectare okay so that is the seventh rule which is provided by the GAP now the eighth is the construction of the shallow dug wells dug wells where the we can generate water we can consume our household water or the agriculture or for agriculture field so what is the construction should be made over there width of dug wells protective zone from living house is 7 meter right like this is the house and this is the well like okay so the width is should be 7 meter okay for from living house and for outhouse it should be 10 meter it should be 10 meter for outhouse and for barn and manure storage when there is a storage of manure so the width should be 25 meter so the 25 meter width should be provided for manure storage meant the distance between the manure storage and the well should be 25 meter and nextly and last is the rule provided related to the pesticides the pesticides rule which GAP provided is that it should only be the registered pesticide only registered pesticides should be used no other pesticide should be used over there which is not registered because that is harmful for the crop also for the water sources also and for human consumption also so keeping in mind all these things rules are provided by the GAP like in GMP rules are provided for the manufacturing processes so GAP also provide rules related to that 
so these are the rules which you have to keep in mind okay thank you so much and keep watching